Alright, so now I thought we would do a bonus video. I showed basically this circuit. This one's uh, modified from the original, but we have a comparator here. When the uh, trim pot voltage is below half of the supply voltage, the output's low, the blue LED lights up. And when we go above halfway, the red LED lights up, the output goes high. So this is the LM393 comparator right there. And we have uh, an oscilloscope over here. We can look at the voltages. So right now, you can see it's outputting 5 volts really nicely, which is hard for a lot of outputs to do. Some outputs can't do it. Now I go low, you can see that it is almost 0 volts right there. And if I yank the uh, pull-up resistor out of there, that's what actually gives us our positive voltage. You can see it goes to 0 volts. Now, if I try to get the output high, you can see both LEDs are lit and we have about half of the power supply voltage. That is because it's not really the uh, integrated circuit here that's providing the voltage anymore. As you can see when I pop it out, that's just power making it to the uh, transistors through one and the other. And uh, so they're keeping each other on right there. Now, that uh, works well for the circuit, that uh, comparator. This is the LM358 op amp right there. And uh, I'll pop it in. And it has the same pin layout and behaves pretty similar to the uh, comparator right there. It's wired as a comparator, but it has a problem. You can see both LEDs are lit right now. And uh, they shouldn't be. Turn the trim pot down. And you can see they're both still lit there. So the reason why is because uh, right now we have the trim pot down low. We should just have the blue LED. You can see the voltage drop down, but it didn't drop down enough. You can see there that uh, we're above about 0.6 volts right there. We need to get below 0.6 volts to turn that red LED off. Now we will uh, set the output high and uh, now it's high. You can see the red LED got brighter. The voltage went up there. Now this integrated circuit can go down to zero volts with no load and uh, unfortunately we have a load here it seems to be a little too much if you look there this is a 5 volt power supply we are down to a little bit below 4 volts and uh, it won't make 5 volts even without a load it'll probably be right about here might shift a little bit but in uh, any case we need 4.4 uh, volts or higher to turn the blue LED off this uh, operational amplifier op amp can't do that as a comparator now unlike the uh, comparator here the LM393 this can power them as long as it's sourcing and syncing the current through the uh, output it, it does okay there but you lose voltage you don't have the 5 volts of the power supply across the load in those cases because as I said before it uh, loses voltage especially when it's uh, powering a load and uh, so that's why this comparator works better to control the transistors. But in any case, somewhat complex uh, thing to study. And so I'm just going to end it there. Study it in more detail using the outputs of the comparators and the op amps if uh, this looks interesting to you or is still confusing. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.